How's it going lads and ladies? My name is Josh and today I welcome you back to episode number 27 I'm gonna say it's 27 of the Pokemon Sun Let's Play. Today's episode we're gonna be going into the Ruins of Hope on Pony Island. We've only just got here and we've done our first little, you know, little bit of searching around and having a look around on Pony Island. Let me just sort this out real quick because my, my, my headphones are starting to like rub on this thing and it's starting to make a really weird noise and I'm not liking it. It's very uncomfortable. But you guys probably already know the team. That's the team down down there. If you guys want to look at it for two seconds. Two, one. All right, let's go. Now, I don't know what's going to happen once we go into the ruins of um, Hope. I reckon there's going to be a lot of, like, talking. So we're just going to have to get the voices on for the moment. Okay. So we got puzzles and shit. We're going to break a path. We need if we're going to break a path, we need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Uh. Okay, so she, yeah, you're definitely not moving that one. I don't think I can do this. It's, it's heavier than words can even express. We'll have to borrow Machamp's formidable strength for this task. If I remember right, it said when getting a ride from a powerful Machamp, trainers can activate Machamp's shove by standing before a rock and pressing B. And if we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. So uh, if we fuck up, we stand outside again, fair enough. Alright. Um. So essentially what we want to do is get the champ out real quick. I don't want to use another repel for a minute. Maybe we go that way? I don't know. Um, no, I've got it, 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 I've got it. Go back outside again, go back in again. I've got it. Push that up here. I think. Up there, like that, possibly. And then move this one down... Like that. Yeah, I think I've got it. So I like this. It's all a bit. It's um. It's like with the the strength boulders that we had to use in um in earlier generations, but a bit different. So now we can go forward. I reckon there's going to be even more difficult ones here. Oh, never mind. We just go straight up here. <sighs> it's kind of cold where I'm not going to lie. I've read about them, you know. A load of sacred ruins, and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. Interesting. The book says that they are, well, capricious. Encounters with them do... do uh, bit, 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 mm, encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebi. Oh, there's Hapu. Is she magic or something? What the fuck? Okay. I give my thanks for your great blessing. Ask who and I will do my best for the people. Oh shit! And the Pokemon of Alola. So she's the she's the Kahuna now. Okay. Fairs. Oh, so you two are watching. The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the, among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, AJ eh, Dot? Came to Lola from far off? You must be really something then. I heard now that you were giving a sparkling stone you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for this honour, the honour of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by a tapu back then. 
So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, uh, challenge traveling alone and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, oh, of course. Then tell me. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. Let me guess, we're gonna have to battle her first. So you want to know about Solgaleo, who we pay tribute to at the Altar of the Sun? My mother disappeared into the beast's world. I know what she she was a terrible person, but she's still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. Legendary Pokemon is the only one who can get back go back and forth between worlds. The world of the beasts, eh? If that was the thing that came out to Pony Island, a beast? Is that what okay? No. Tapu Fini and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. Alright, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just the legendary ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the moon flute. It seems like my mother had it. Oh, that's the flute of, that you used to reside on the at the lake in, on Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know where, why there of all places. Yeah, neither do I. Why Executor Island? What kind of use of this bullshit is that? But it has been passed down. That's that's where it belongs. Executor Island. I think I've read about it before. Isn't an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony? Isn't that right? Yes, and no reason to dally here. Let's go and speak with the Sea Folk's chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We proceed to Sea Folk Village. Okay, so we're not going to battle her. Fair enough. Let's get out of here then. Let's get out of here. I think one thing I want to do while we're about is actually fly back to one of the earlier islands. I want to change this shirt. This shirt's really annoying me. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. I should have probably done it off screen, but it's whatever. We've got a bit of time. We're on to the Pony Breaker Coast. Can we fly? We can fly. Right. Let's go to... Uh, let's see what they have on... Wait, where's Mele Mele? Mele Mele is there. Right, cool. How early city? Let's go to How early city quickly, and then at least then we can fly all the way back to um, Sea Folk Village. I will right, we'll do that as I. Go. <sighs> oh, the music's back. Ba boom. Oh, what's in here? Have we been in it before? What's this place? What the hell? Oh, it's the mall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. I think we have been here before. I'm not sure. I d actually know we haven't. Is this new? This wasn't here before then, I'm assuming. I would have gone in there. I would have seen it. Uh, that's the haircut place. We don't need a haircut. We need clothes. That's what we want. So let's have a look at what we can find in here. So we've got a fair bit of money now. We haven't spent any money for like a good six or seven episodes. Oh my god, we've got so much. Alright, so what have we got? Oh, the plain tees. I feel like the plain tees are going to be um, what, we, what we eventually start, what we eventually take. We've got to get something nice and, you know, exotically cool. This is the polo shirt here. We don't want a polo shirt, realistically. Anything else? There's a surfing tank, tank tops, casual striped tee. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the striped, um, striped tees. Let's just go for the, um, the plain white. Oh, no, not plain white. We'll go with... Um, should we go with red or should we go with like yellow or orange or something? But why is there no blue? You know, let's go with red. Would you like to put on your latest purchase? Yes, I would. Oh, that looks a bit better. I reckon we could um, we could rock that, rock out with that. I think. That's what we're gonna do. Right, go to Charizard Glide. Get ourselves on the Charizard and go back to Pony Island, Sea Folk Village. Oh, 
I don't know why I'm so tired. I don't. I didn't even wake up that long ago. All oh, right, we've just been taken straight here. Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. That's what friends do. F friends. An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend. Bitch. Don't get sentimental. Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up, no matter what. It's a journey to Executor Island. You should speak with the chief of the Sea Folk. I shall be wishing for your safety. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that's the boat we take. Oh, so it's not a house, it's a boat. Right, let's go do that then. That's the wrong, wrong way. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Did you find her? Yes, Happy was made the new Kahuna. Oh ho ho, that's a joy to my ears. Her old grandfather must be smiling down on us. Yes, Hapu did will do her best the best for our late grandfather, and I must do my best for my mother's sake and for Nebby as well. And so, there's a place that we need to go to. Executor Island, let's go. Executor Island? Oh you mean where the flute is? Well you two did meet the Kahuna already, and Pony's captain ain't around anyway. So I guess there's no point waiting on any trials. All right, the SS Magic Arp will have you there, and you'll you'll think think you're sailing in a dream. Cool, let's go. Let's get it. I'm guessing we're going to find a lot of Exeggator on this island. They say it's unha uninhabited, but realistically it's not. Ha! Here we are, the Exeggator Island. I heard this place used to be a trial site, though that, that was a long time ago now. You go on, good luck to you both. Let's go find the flute, right? Trainers, trainers really can go anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. This is a really small island, Jesus. Why is everyone laughing and waving and shit? Alright, let's go. Oh no, it isn't a small island. Never mind, this is a pretty decently sized island. <laughs> I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. That's what it looks like um, to me when I see you, J-Dot and Hapu. J-Dot and Hapu and Hal too. She's going to become a trainer eventually. She's got to. Yeah, it's an executor. I, I thought I knew it. Ah, what is that, Jada? It's an executor. Come on now. Alright, this is going to be slightly problematic because we don't really have anything to do with it. We did get Frost Breath earlier, though, so I think we need to teach Frost Breath to someone. Oh, we didn't heal up. We're going to go. I have to go for Cruncher. Not gonna do much, but oh, that's fine. Wood hammer, holy fuck, that's gonna kill. And we haven't healed up either, as in we don't have any um, we don't have any revives either. Oh god, no. Mmm, I should have healed up. I don't think dragon resists bug though, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna assume the dragon doesn't resist bug, and we're gonna go for a first impression. Right, it doesn't resist bug, which means that Wesley is probably our best bet, best bet for getting through this island right now. If we're going to come up against a lot of the Lone Executors. Phew, that was an Executor, wasn't it? I think the, the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I prefer. What's our fa what the hell's going on with her face? Why? It's, this is this is weird. This is strange. Right. Right, let's um, switch Wesley out front anyway, I mean it really doesn't matter, but, you know, it's fine, we'll do that. And let's begin looking through this island then. Oh, it's raining now. Oh, it started to rain.
Oh god. Rain and Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking at this rain like this reminds me of this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie, this man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain and she was so shocked that she ran out right after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled and she danced with me in the rain. Dancing in the rain. Of course we both ended up catching colds. She let me sleep with her with her in her with sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept waking up again waking up waking her again and again just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed, and all she would think about was the Ultra Beast, and Null and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, J Dot? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time you show me that it's impossible to do something. Even the first time oh Jesus Christ, can we just get on with get on with the sentimental sentimental shit? I can't be asked. Nebby was being attacked and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aether Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I Um okay. What are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Jesus, I mean Dunno, really? Oh, thank goodness. It's such a relief to know that even someone like you feels unsure at times, Jadot. I think I'd like to become a trainer too, and travel together with you. Okay. I thought the executors are just in the background. <laughs> That's too funny. Ah! Oh, it's a rainbow. Pretty cool. Maybe there really are some good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? I mean, I don't know. Can we just continue now? Was that literally all that was? Okay, right. Let's um, we can we have some agency to explore a bit now. So let's do that. There's an item down here. Rare candy? No, just a prison scale. Fair enough. So we can evolve a Feebas when we need to. I think it evolved Feebas, doesn't it? What's over here? Nothing, by the sounds of it, by the looks of it. Oh damn, there it is! So, so we did, didn't even take that long to come and find it. It still isn't a very big island. I thought it was a lot bigger than this. J Dot! A flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Oh look, it's the sun thing. That's cool. Will you take the flute? Oh no, that's not her talking, that's just me talking. Yeah, cool, take it. So it was that easy, really. Now we have both the sun flute and the moon flute. I don't know if it really, if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon. We can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have to, s we'll have sounded the flutes and offerings like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me, J Dot. Let's go. Let's go meet the chief on the Sea Folk of the Sea Folk and go back to Pony Island. All right then. Let's go. Look at you, Tralgo. You're going to the altar to play the flutes. The altar lies all the way through the vast pony canyon. It's a long road there. That path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Happy that you'll be, you'd be off? That we're going. Might as well. And because I can't be asked to wait, let's get on Charles. Oh wait, can we get? Can we travel to hers? Nope. But I don't. I'll tell you one thing we need to do really quickly is um, go and heal up. Because we've only got 10 minutes left of this episode. Oh god, where's all this coming from? Right. Let's heal up and then run to Happy's. In fact, no, we need to get some medication right now. And possibly, let's have a look and see if this guy, um... See, we haven't bought something in that long. Jesus. Um, we can get Ultra Balls now. Interesting. I think, I feel like we're going to need some Ultra Balls. So, let's get... We'll get... 60. You know what? No. 
Can we get 100 Ultra Balls? We can get 99. We're gonna get 99 Ultra Balls, fuck it. That's what we're doing. Because we still have 100k after that. Um, we'll get some Hyper Potions. How many do we have? 18. Yeah, we'll get some Hyper Potions. We'll get like... 22, so we have 40. Um, we'll get some revives. Maybe 20 revives, there we go. And that should do it for now. Especially because we have something else to sell as well. Oh, it's the TM shop. What can we get in here? Calm Mind, Blizz, oh my goodness, okay. Wow. Right, okay, so we've got a couple things we can buy here. First of all, what I want to do is sell, because I know we've got some um, bits and bobs that we can sell. Um, escape probe, ice stone, red nectar, miracle seed, moonstone, comet shard. Sold at a high price to shops. 30k, Jesus Christ. Okay. Adrenaline orb, we have two now. Big root, mystic water. I think that 30k was enough anyway, wasn't it? it was just, that was ridiculous. So we now have 30k to spend. I think we have to buy Calm Mind. Who's, who can learn Calm Mind on the team though? Blizzard, Hyper Beam. Why is Hyper Beam so much? Jesus. Uh, Thunder, Solar Beam, Sludge Wave is pretty useful. I think we might get Sludge Wave. Fire Blast, Focus Blast. Giga Impact, Stone Edge. No, let's buy Calm Mind. I want to see who can learn Calm Mind. Nobody. <laughs> Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Let's just keep going then. Right. We've got to go all the way this way. Oh, we can't go around there. Alright, let's get a, um... A... Repel on the go. Where's all my super repels gone? I've got a max repel. I've got two max repels. Use one of those. I can't be asked to come up against any Pokemon right now. And we are at... I suppose this means we're going into the Vast Pony Canyon then. Oh, never mind, Team Skull. Are they really still about? You're from Team Skull, what is it that you want from us? Here, here they come. I heard all about you numbskulls at Aether. Do you really think, do you really know a way to save our boy Guzma? We can make you talk, even if we have to cut you to the bone. Oh, so we have to battle, okay, fair enough. Let's destroy these people's lives. I suppose this is a good way to end the episode. Destroying a couple Team Skull grunts. See, the light's really not doing it for me right now. I don't know why. Might have to change the, um... Change up, could tweak the camera a little bit. Alright, Fermantis. Um, oh, I completely forgot we Wesley out front. This Fermantis is dead, there's no way to live in that. Get that stuff out of here. Get that shit out of here. Okay, so you cut me to the bone. Ouch! Get out of here. Oh, there's, um... I can't remember what her name is. Plumeria? Doesn't matter. We'll come after you with all our Pokemon at once then. Our ho little home slice. We'll give 200% save our big boy Guzma. Oh, so we have to battle all of them. This is going to be like our first look at a, um, uh, like a multi-multi battle. Oh, right, no, they just put all their Pokemon together. Fair enough. Saland it. Boy, if you don't get this shower here right now. 
I don't think Alyssa Bob can actually take on a Salamu. Go for a Sucker Punch. Oh, I went for Toxic instead. Alright then. That's fine, Wesley doesn't need um doesn't need much. Go for another sucker punch and hope he goes for an attack this time. He didn't, he went for last time. This guy's just setting up on me right now. I'm not appreciating it. So we're gonna go out into Jonathan. And go for our high horsepower. There's another nasty part. Okay, so this thing actually looks a bit scary now. It's a plus four. Go for the bulldoze. Flamethrower, we can eat that up. Even if he is a plus four. Yeah, we eat that. Get rid of the Salandit. Get it out of here. Four types of effective, there's no way it's living. Raticate. Do you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go into Padfoot, set up Stealth Rocks. And then let him sweep. Set up Stealth Rocks. Sucker Punch. Reeds. The reeds are real right now. Right, Rock Slide should kill from here. I think. Jesus Christ, the thing's fat. Gotta go for Excel Rock again. Doesn't quite kill, but fair enough. At least it means that he can't get off these sucker punches. Remus level 38, nice. Haunter. What have we got for a well-played Haunter? That's a Robin. I need an Ice type, realistically. Or a Fairy type. Alright, oh, this Haunter's definitely going down to a, um, a Sphere Shackle. Unless it gets off a Shadow Ball first, that's fine. We live in though. Definitely not living in a spirit shackle, 100%. Level 46. Stats are looking really good. Mariani, Mariani, the Tox Spec Brievo. I say we have to go out into Jonathan here and just go for a high horsepower. Or a bulldozer would probably take this thing out to be honest. Although I don't know. Bulldozer might take I think bulldozer will take it out. Especially from um, after Stealth Rocks. We went for a recover. Doesn't matter anyway. This thing's faster than us. That doesn't make any sense. Still killed it anyway. Golbat's coming out. Now this thing's 100% going to take a lot of damage from it, uh, from the Stealth Rocks. Yeah, there we go. Tons of damage. Celerox should kill from it. It doesn't, and he gets off a Leech Life. Leech Life won't do much though. Okay, Accelerock definitely kills from here at least. At least I hope it does. There we go. Maybe 4 o'clock, Jesus. Jesus! Oh, we want to go for the care thing just so we can, um... Hold up, one second, one second, one second. One second. Get rid of Wesley's poison because we don't want him, um... Being poison if we have to battle Plumeria now. There we go. Give him a little summon summon as well. Oh, 
Alright, now he's back in his Pokeball. I'm not giving up, even though you beat me. I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. Yeah, you're thick as shit. That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. So we're going to have to battle Plumeria as well. Maybe. Possibly. Hmm. You girly. Lily, right? You really do the... You ready? We really ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president, my mother, is she's so selfish. She lavishes her love, her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether it is wanted or not. But I will save her, I still have something I need to tell her, and I think I can save Guzma as well. You know, deep down, you're the kind of, you're kind of like the president. You've got, you've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Bring Guzma back if you can. I know you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done if they're gone. I don't know if I'm just standing there smiling, just... And you, J-Dot, looks like you were special after all. You didn't just stand up to Team Skull, you even took out the darkness inside Aether. Looks like you're a real deal, the realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of our little princess here. This is the way of smiling way of saying sorry, okay? It's take it, it's Poison MZ. Oh, okay, fair enough. Decent. Oh yeah. You've got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, J-Dot? You better take care of it. That's one special Z-Ring you've got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the trainer with them. Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. Decent. I suppose even Team Skull is not all bad. Thanks for helping me again, J-Dot. On here, let me thank your team, too. Please tell me again healed. Please tell me again healed. Yes! Alright, J Dot, let's go to the altar. The vast Pony Canyon lies ahead of us. And before we enter the vast Pony Canyon, I think that is the perfect way to end the episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I say it a lot, but you know, I really do appreciate all the support that anyone can give me. Um, but. I'm going to be up out, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.